Good morning guys and as you can see I am inside the aircraft because I am flying to Oslo, Norway as my pre-birthday gift to myself and yeah I am so excited and by the way this flight is a little chaotic because while we were on board they announced that we need to go back to the airport because there were some technical issues that they need to fix and so we wait for further announcement and after two hours of delay we finally on board again on the plane and fly to oslo norway imagine two hours of delay however it was smooth it was fine so Guys, welcome to Oslo, Norway. This is my first night and it's very cold. It's 13 degree below zero. And this is the famous museum in this city. If you guys are familiar with the scream uh, paintings of Edward Munch, this is the museum and adjacent to it is the Oslo Opera House surrounded with the water and, yeah. and I must say I love the vibe of the city modern the food is great the people are very uh, nice so yeah I love the city for now the impression is good so ah, very cold very cold and part of the opera house is the costume section wigs and props so look at the beautiful Oslo evening and by the way as you can see that area that is the sauna and people are taking a bath in this cold water wow that is the central station and going to call you Gate. So there you go. This is the first night Oslo by night. And earlier today, I had a fantastic dinner at Friday's. And so right now, I'm going home, going to my hotel because I am a little tired. So see you guys tomorrow. I thought I'm gonna say good morning. But as you can see, it's still evening. And by the way, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Seven o'clock. And I gotta tell you guys that last night, there was a Northern Lights that has been visible from one of the, um, what I call this, along the coastal area here in slow so it's exciting however back in this scenery seven o'clock wow yeah 
Good morning guys and welcome again in the city of Oslo and today is a beautiful day so there will be a lot of walking today. I don't know what part of the city is this area but I have found this church and different stores, restaurants and yes so along the popular Carl Johan street is this Oslo Cathedral and look at the mosaic above popular Carl Johan Street in Oslo. The shopping mecca for travelers. Found out. This Zara home at Zara H&M home in Oslo. Mm -hmm. Luxury shopping street of Oslo. And from here it's the Norwegian Parliament. from Carl Jonas Street is the Royal Palace. Apparently there is a change of guard. <laughs> one o'clock, 1.30 actually. But I don't know if there will be change of guard today. Saturday, but usually from Monday to Friday there is. Apparently this park is popular and as you have noticed they're all nude so and according to my friend this is one of the popular one it was actually being stolen third time but the kid is still there all nudes as you can see at this point since it's negative 14 and it's the coldest experience i have in my entire life i feel like i'm having a facial paralysis that i couldn't feel anything on my face and every time i speak i feel like blah 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 like that city hall <laughs> nobel prize nobel peace center Nobel Peace winner, the only Filipino. Central Station. Akerbrick area. And according to my friend, that is the very first castle of 
the royal family. Come in. Good morning, Oslo. Last day. Take a shower and head down to have breakfast. So. Guarda, è diventato tutto ghiacciato il mare. Thank you very much Oslo. I had such an amazing time. The city vibe was amazing. The food is great, the company is perfect. Thank you. On the bra Oslo. trip in Oslo, Norway. I am back now in Milan with the ginormous, the tallest Christmas tree ever. And yeah, the festive season is in the air. And last Sunday was my birthday and I'd like to say thank you everyone who say happy birthday to me and those people who celebrated with me. Thank you. I love you. And with the Christmas tree, God bless us all. And right now I am in Galleria Vittoria Emanuele. And there is a Novita. I guess a traditional Christmas tree sponsored by Swarovski has ended because we have the Gucci stocks of boxes. There you go. So what do you think guys of that Christmas tree? Do you prepare the traditional one or this new one from Gucci? Let me know. And this is Milan's shopping district, Monte Napoleone. From Dior to Hermes, and an interesting installation from Cartier. Good morning, well actually not really good morning, it's one o'clock and ten minutes. So I realized I didn't properly properly end the video last night so i would like to say thank you very much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed my travel in oslo and the christmas installations here in milano hope you enjoy that and i will see you guys next time i don't know when so anyway thank you very much again and have a great day bye bye